What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Uncommon Sense. Fam, I'm back at you again with another fragrance review. My man over at Mr. Cheap Sense had put out a video recently chronicling the 10 most disappointing fragrances. This fragrance review is a little bit different. Worst performer fragrances on my skin. In this video, we're going to start at the bottom, way to the top, which is going to be the worst performing on my skin, period. We getting ready to get into it. Coming in number 10, Yves Saint Laurent Long EDT. A great fragrance. It smells really fresh, clean. It's an amazing, classy scent. And it is super safe and mass appealing. The downfall of this one is it's super duper quiet on my skin. It has zero projection. I can spray until I'm blue in the face. As you can see, I put some miles on this one. It was a gift. So super thankful for that. But unfortunately, it's not a good performer. And the longevity is at max three hours. The apple scent on this one is one that I really, really love. And I found myself having to dig myself into my skin to actually get a sniff. If it gets on clothes, it seems to last a little longer, but yet and still I need that chemistry to kind of bounce them off of that. Since Yves Saint Laurent La Home is a little bit pricey, I expected a lot more from it. This is why this made number 10 on the worst performing fragrances on my skin. Coming in at number nine, we got Boss Orange EDT. I dig the scent, like the bottle, all of that. Unfortunately, this is another poor performing fragrance on my skin. The musk, vanilla, and apple in this one is really nice. I just don't understand why this one does not perform well on my skin. For longevity, it may be three or so hours. It just cannot keep it together. I remember one time I wore this out to brunch shortly after waiting in line to get to sit down to eat. This one was gone. I couldn't smell it for performance since it doesn't project. It sits really close to the skin, kind of like right up in here. I've even tried changing up the season to see, okay, maybe I'm wearing it in the wrong season because when I originally wore it, it was going into fall. I wore it recently and it performed a little bit better, but still wasn't as good of a performer as it should have been. I expect my fragrances to get on my skin and really show out. And this one really just did not do that. That's why this one is number nine in the worst performing on my skin. Coming up to number eight, we got Ferragamo Free Time. This is the EDT concentration, the Eau de Toilette and the aromatic light freshy. I really enjoy the scent of this fragrance, but it kind of reminds me of Clinique Happy in the fact that it smells so freaking good, but the performance is abysmal. That's something that the two share. Great scent, poor performance. This is why this one earned the number eight spot on the worst performer fragrances on my skin. Rolling on up to number seven, Michael Germain's Sexual Sugar Daddy. This one is fresh and clean, and I really dig the scent of this one. And... It has that grown man fresh. It's just really unfortunate that it performs poorly. I've even worn some fragrance oils that weren't as scented heavily so that oil could penetrate the skin and this could kind of sit on top of that and just beam. Some of these just do not perform well. An unfortunate side effect of a great smelling fragrance. It even has that Blue de Chanel type of vibe. Unfortunately, it's dead in the water on my skin after only about an hour. I actually recently just did a review on this one. It ends up in my love to hate fragrance. I love the scent. Hate the fact that it performed so poorly. So check out that video. I ended as well. up having to give this one away, and it made me sad because I really dug this fragrance. So this is why "Sex with Sugar Daddy" by Michael Germain earned the number seven spot. Coming in at number six, we got Rihanna Rogue Man. This one is super quiet on my skin. It does have some floral notes, which I do happen to enjoy. It just does not perform well. I've heard of comparisons of this one to Dolce & Gabbana, the one. A lot of people completely dog celebrity fragrances. And I've had some experiences where, no, all of them were bad, but I've also had some experiences that kind of put it in that vein of, yeah, it's kind of trash. But... I dig the scent on this one. My man Frag Head said recently did a love to hate challenge, which he tagged me in, 
And this was his love to hate fragrance. Yeah. Big shout out to my man Frag has said. Coming in number five of the worst performing fragrances on my skin. We got Tattoo by Jean-Marc Petit. Interesting enough, Tattoo performs poorly on my skin. That kind of has a weak atomizer too. It draws a close comparison to the number 10 spot. Yves Saint Laurent, La Home. They kind of look similar. They smell similar. Like the packaging and all of that is really similar as well. Unfortunately, since this one is a bit more synthetic, the vanilla in this one is more of the star of the show. I just don't have the skin chemistry to make this one shine. This is why this one made number five on the worst performing fragrances on my skin. Coming in at number four, we got Bottega Veneta Porhomme. Bottega Veneta Porhomme, this came in my scent box subscription. I was super duper intrigued by this one when I saw it in my scent box menu for subscription. Especially expected a little bit more from Bottega Veneta because they have great products. Unfortunately, this performance and longevity is atrocious, especially for the price. It's way too expensive to not perform. Zero longevity, and it, to me, it's a little bit boring and generic. I was extremely let down. Coming in at number three of the worst performer fragrances on my skin, we got Calvin Klein CK Shock. This one is hyped and revered in the fragrance community. Unfortunately, it does not perform well on my skin, nor does it smell good on my skin. So those two mixed together frustrated the hell out of me. The fact that I only paid maybe $22 was probably the only saving grace. Coming in at number two, we have another one from the house of Yves Saint Laurent. That's gonna be La Nuit de L'Homme Parfum. Another fragrance that was super duper hyped by Jeremy Fragrance, by other frag heads, it is one of the most boring, generic, poor performing fragrances that I've ever had. Again, I'm super duper excited that I get this in my scent box subscription before purchasing a full bottle because I would have been pissed had I paid full price for this, expecting it to perform like a parfum, and it doesn't. I'm really dumbfounded at this one because after 10 minutes on my skin, it's a complete absentee ballot. It basically showed up, signed in, and went home. And I don't even understand why, especially for Parfums. Parfums really rock on my skin. And again, I try to take the best care of my skin and make sure that I'm moisturized and I'm fresh, I'm clean, and a blank canvas prior to putting fragrances on. It does not matter with this will not perform on my skin. So I'm glad I saved myself some money and time. But then at number one, as the poorest performing fragrance on my skin, it's actually kind of sad because I adore the way the fragrance smells. And again, we got a lot of frag heads in the community that completely feel this is a banger. Sean John Unforgivable. And I'm not gonna lie to you, that's exactly what I would rate the performance on this one on my skin as. It's unforgivable. I got this huge bottle and I'm thinking, I've come up for 20 bucks. This is a 4.2 ounce. I'm thinking, oh, I've hit the jackpot. I got this one. It was so disappointing. I do dig the atomizer. And I can spray this one 10 to 15 times. And in about 20 minutes, whew, gone. Cannot smell it. It's over with. Curtain call, game canceled. I've tried priming with this one. I've made sure that I was super duper moisturized. I did the baby oil gel in my decollete area and spray, just hose myself down with this 10, 15 sprays. No, sir. Nothing helped. It's just really sad because I said compared to Millicent Imperial by Creed and it just does not at all live up to that. This one smells good, but the longevity is poor. So this is why Sean John's Unforgivable made the number one spot as the worst performing fragrance on my skin. I really appreciate you guys for rocking with me and liking all my content, leaving comments, tagging me in challenges. I really appreciate all the love and engagement and all that I can say is continue to love me the way you do and I'll continue to love you the way I do. Even if you don't, I'ma still love you. But again, it's been your boy Uncommon Sense and I really appreciate you guys for sticking around and viewing my video of the top 10 worst performing fragrances on my skin. And I'm out.